We're starting on Easter Sunday, the 4th of April in the evening. So all churches all around the country can do their Easter thing on Sunday morning together. And then in the evening, perhaps if you've got an evening service, it, it, it would be afterwards at 7.30, we're gonna kick off with worship from Tim Hughes and his band from Gas Street Church in Birmingham. And, um, and also on the first night, an incredible speaker called Glenn Packiam. If you don't know about Glenn, you can Google him. Um, but he is an absolute wealth of knowledge on worship. It is his specialist topic. He's a PhD in worship. I see. Um, but he makes it so accessible. He's also a worship leader, a musician, and he's going to be fascinating. He's talking to us on the first evening. There's also an after hours show of gospel music, which will be incredible. And then from Monday morning, we start our kind of regular routine then for the next four days. 7 a.m. Kids TV, if you've got kids that wake up early, just send them to start watching at seven while you just come around slowly with a cup of coffee <laughs> or however you like to do it. Eight o'clock, a daily devotional. Joe Saxton will be delivering those and there'll be worship leaders uh, adding a song on at the end as well so that you can reflect on what Joe's shared about worship and our topic. Then we move on at nine o'clock to the big start. Everybody's favorite bit, all singing, all dancing as usual, even better than ever, I can promise. I've heard the theme song and it is catchy. Come on. <laughs> Loads of junk drumming as well involved this year. So you're gonna need to find things you can whack, which will be very fun. So we're looking for Tupperware? Oh bins. yeah, that's Tupperware's not loud enough. Windows? <laughs> <laughs> Keep away from the windows. <laughs> And then at 10 o'clock, uh, Bible teaching for the grown-ups. Um, well, anyone can watch, younger children can watch too if they fancy. Um, <laughs> the Bible teaching and some more worship. And then all the kids stuff is available on demand. So whatever time suits you. If you wanna go out and get some fresh air and then come back and watch kids sessions, you can do that. If you wanna, um, uh, if you don't have kids at home and you've got loads of free time and you just wanna binge watch more teaching, you can do that, the theme sessions. There are workshops in the afternoon over Zoom at two o'clock and all sorts of different things like songwriting and a choir. Oh. Monday night, exclusive show. Tim Vine and John Archer are going to perform live and it will be live and live only. That is the one session you won't be able to catch up on. So you have to be watching on Easter Monday at 9.30 don't to forget. catch that one. Exclusive. Um, that will be after the celebration, of course. The celebration every evening will also be live. So live worship and fantastic speakers and a really international lineup this year. And one of the things I'm most excited about is just the variety of guests we've got teaching us about worship from around the world. So we are gonna be so privileged to hear from Sinach from Nigeria who wrote Waymaker, which is a song that I think everybody will be familiar with. And uh, she's gonna to talk to us about worship and lead us in a couple of songs. We've got Case Cryonord from Amsterdam, who is a firm favorite at Spring Harvest. We're gonna hear from Sheldon Bangera from India, who, if you look at him on YouTube, has millions and millions and millions and millions of followers because his worship is so passionate and heartfelt and he has incredible stories to tell of being a Christian and worshiping in India. We've got Matt Marvan from France. We've got a, a whole bunch of people from around the world who can teach us something new about worship maybe. And on top of that, I mean our partnership with Open Doors is going to be remarkable because when yeah. you put worship into the context of the persecuted church, mm. oh my word, the whole thing just changes. Yeah, I mean amazing experiences they can share with us and testimonies um, and we're going to hear all sorts of different things from them but also experience what worship can be like. Um, Many people may remember a number of years ago when Hei Wu from North Korea joined us uh, through the work of Open Doors. She taught us about whisper worship and how when, the, when it rained in the labour camps they could worship in whispers and that was so powerful. It's never left many of us still think of that I now. I think it's going to be important again with all that we've been going through with the pandemic is that when we talk about the persecuted church that will give us some level of perspective too mm. because in the middle of all of the struggles that we might have felt we've had and hey it hasn't been easy we appreciate moments of well moments of quite a lot of reflection and grief as well mm. but we have been able to still worship watch the television mm. be in a local church have community do zoom calls not everybody has had that benefit yeah. at all so that's going to be quite a quite a sobering somber but i think inspiring time yeah absolutely so of course there's that wonderful content from open doors there's also our partners care for the family who'll yeah. be doing their parenting sessions and they're actually going to specifically address the parenting struggles and issues that have come up by this close proximity we've all had mm -hmm. over the last year and uh, the new melting pot that that has been for many families so they're going to do some great teaching on that their wisdom is just off the charts 
We've also uh, got some sessions on things like uh, worship and mission around the world. So Justice and Mercy Amazon, an incredible organisation, will be taking up an offering and they'll be receiving our tithe this year. And they, um, they're really struggling at the moment with the pandemic too. I mean, the Amazon basin has just been very hard hit. So it'll be great to hear from them about how our worship can involve reaching the hardest to reach in different parts of the world. Thank you.